let's study the motion of both cylinders. Each cylinder will be a separate system. We'll apply the work energy theorem to each cylinder. And for the first cylinder that rotates about a fixed low friction axle, the cylinder is going to rotate clockwise about an axis of a rotation through its center. And using the subscripts A, C, E, and Y, we can identify the forces that act on that system. There's the force that you apply to the cylinder on the outside edge. It's going to cause it to rotate about the axis of rotation. There's the weight force down, the force that the axis of rotation exerts upward on the cylinder. And in this particular situation, the only motion the cylinder can experience is rotational motion about the axis of rotation. This cylinder is not going to translate left or right or up or down. To calculate the work done on the cylinder by external forces, notice that the weight force and the force due to the axle on the cylinder both act through the axis of rotation, but they will not do any work because as the cylinder rotates about the axis of rotation, those two forces cannot create any torque about the axis of rotation. So the only force that can create some type of torque on the system is the force that you apply to the cylinder. And if I integrate the torque that that force creates on the cylinder as the cylinder makes one complete revolution, the torque that that force creates is just the distance r, the force acts from the axis of rotation r times the magnitude of that force. And the force is perpendicular to that distance from the axis of rotation. As the cylinder makes one full revolution, it's going to undergo an angular displacement of two pi radians. So two pi times r times fyc is going to be the amount of work done by that force on the cylinder. And that's going to be solely due to changes in rotational kinetic energy that the cylinder experiences. For the second system, let's use the subscript C, E, G, and Y. The forces that act on the cylinder are going to be the weight force down, the normal force from the ground on the cylinder up, and a static friction force that the ground exerts on the cylinder as the cylinder rolls without slipping across the ground. The cylinder now, since it can roll without slipping, will both rotate and translate. And the translation motion to the right is going to be affected by the force that you apply to the cylinder to the right. And when we calculate the work done by that force, we're going to have to integrate that force with the differential displacement vector that describes how that force acts on the cylinder and causes it to move to the right. The force FYC acts to the right, the object displacement is to the right, and over one full revolution, the cylinder will span a distance of 2 pi r. And when I do that integration, I'll just get 2 pi r times the magnitude of the force that you apply to the cylinder. And that work done by this force on the cylinder causes the cylinder to undergo both changes in its rotational kinetic energy and its translational kinetic energy, since it is both rolling and translating at the same time. Notice that the normal force and the weight force and the static friction force do not do any work at all on the cylinder. So to answer the question, which cylinder has a larger change in total kinetic energy? The first cylinder has a total change in kinetic energy just due to changes in its rotational kinetic energy, which we find to be 2 pi r times the force that you apply to the cylinder. And the second cylinder has the exact same change in total kinetic energy, but that change in total kinetic energy is due to both the rotational effects and the translational effects of the cylinder's motion. So the correct answer to this question is C, that both undergo the same change in total kinetic energy. If you think about this problem, this presents a follow-up question that asks about the work done by an external force on a system. Look at these three statements, think about which one is true, and we'll get back to you with the answer in the next video.